So let's suppose that you push an object along the x-axis with a non-constant force given by the following equation. So f of x where f is our force and x is our position is equal to 3 times 10 plus x squared divided by 2. Now, if you push the box along the x-axis from initial position of 1 meter to a final position of 5 meters, find the work done. Well, we begin by plotting our function on the x-y plane. So the y-axis is our force and the x-axis is our position given by x. So our function looks something like this and notice that it's not constant. And that means our force is non-constant. So as we move along the x-axis, our force increases in the following parabolic form. So what we want to find is the area underneath the curve from 1 meter to the 5 meter position. We want to find this area. This area will give us the exact amount of work required to do to push our box along the x-axis from a position of 1 meter to a position of 5 meters. So that means that we must integrate this function from initial to final position. So we use the following formula. So the non-constant force formula for work is equal to we integrate our dot product from our initial A to final B. So in our case, A, our A is x naught of 1 meter and B is our 5 meter mark. And our force function can be replaced with this function, and the L can be replaced with X. And we get the following result. Now, we can multiply both sides by 3, and we distribute our integral, and we get the following result. So notice, for this term, we brought out our constant, 3 divided by 2. So we integrate this, we get 30X from 1 to 5, and we integrate this, we get x cubed divided by 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 from 1 to 5. So notice the 3's up here on top and bottom. So we cross those out, we get the following result, and finally we evaluate and we get so 30 times 5 minus 30 times 1 plus 1 half of so 3 or 5 to the third power is 125 minus 1 to the third is 1, we get 182 joules. So when we push our object from the 1 to the 5 meter mark, we require 182 joules of work.